Hello everybody, Jerry Turner here from the Countryside Restoration Trust. Today we are going to be creating a beautiful fairy garden. Now fairies are always a source of intrigue and magic to young children, so for them to create their own fairy garden is a really nice gardening activity. You don't need your own garden space, you can do it in a pot as I've done here. Every fairy needs somewhere to stay at night time. So the first thing we're going to do is learn how to make a little fairy house. Once we've done that, we can then start adding some extra features to our fairy garden. A pathway, a pond, some grass areas, and even some flowers as well. The main body of the fairy house is actually just a toilet roll covered in leaves. So the next time you're out for your daily exercise, pick up some leaves, some contrasting colours, some green ones and some brown or ready ones. Um, you need to use the red ones or the brown ones to cover your toilet roll. So I've used some double stitch sided sticky tape. I've put the sticky tape on the top, middle and bottom sections wrapped around and then all I need to do is just one by one attach the leaves to the sticky tape. To make the roof of the fairy house you'll need some card and a round lid which you'll hopefully find in the kitchen. Draw around the lid and then all you need to do is use your scissors to cut it out so that you're left with a circle. The next thing you need to do is make a cut in your circle like a little wedge coming out and then by folding it over you can then create your roof to your house. The next thing you need to do is attach some sticky tape to the top of your roof and then you're ready to stick on the green leaves and by overlapping them slightly they look like tiles of a roof. Once you've finished covering the roof and the main body of the house with leaves all you need to do is stick them together and find yourself a door and I've just picked up a piece of bark here from the forest block once you've finished making your house, it's then time to create your garden. So what you'll need is a big pot and you'll need to fill it with compost. If you take your fairy house, just push it towards the back of the pot and just push it down slightly so that it's embedded in the compost and doesn't fall over. You can then start to add some really interesting features. For example, I've created a path just by using some um, stones that I've picked up. I've also used some grass cuttings to create a nice grassy area and I've put some buttercups and daisies in amongst them. I've collected some flowers to make the garden beautiful and I've even added a pond feature which is really easy to do. Just cut out a piece of blue card, add some glue and then with some coloured tissue paper scrunched up you can just put the tissue paper onto the card just to add a little bit of texture and to make it look like the ripples of the pond and add it to your garden. So there you have it, a beautiful fairy garden that any fairy would love to live in. Enjoy making yours and I'll see you next time.